Hi, this is Ed. Welcome, and I want to do a really quick video about what I call keeping perfect time. Now, this is a really simple thing you can do. All you need are a couple of pieces of wood, maybe a fork and a spoon, uh, claves, or, or clapping even, but something with a very distinctive sharp sound might be the best for this. So uh, go ahead and get some stuff together and stop the video and then w maybe a metronome might help here. Uh, it can be just a simple metronome. It could be your metronome in Logic or Pro Tools or something like that. Or it could be on your phone. You might have a, a simple metronome you can get an app for. Uh, anybody can do this pretty much for free at this point. Uh, so what I'm going to do is set my metronome to about 60. That's a pretty slow click right there. And then I'm just going to start clicking with it and see if I can't just really connect with that metronome and literally play at the exact same time of each beat. Now if I try to respond to it, if I try and click after I hit it, I'm probably going to be late. I could try and be a little early too, and, and learning how to be early or late is just as important. But developing perfect time is also the ability to be right square in the middle of it. The secret that I think about when I teach this is imagine that as I play the stick that I make the click, the metronome actually work. I really don't have any control over that damn metronome, but if I think I do, then I can try to really connect with it and I can kind of be the click. So here's what it sounds like. Took me a little bit to get there. Now, a lot of playing I do may not need that perfection, but if you're working in the studio these days, that's a really good skill to have. You can maneuver things digitally, but it's a real pain in the butt later to do it. So if you can develop a good, solid technique, then also live playing, it's going to be much more together about that. So again, it's very easy to do. Now, really, the great idea about great time is that it's, it's the ability to play ahead, behind, on it. All of those are possible skills. There are bass players that lay back. There are drummers that lay back. Some play a little ahead. So the, the issue is, do you have control over the time you're playing? That, that's really the goal on this whole, whole thing here. So give this a shot. Again, just turn your click on nice and slow at 60 or so. And then just try clicking away against it. And as you click, imagine that you're making the click go. So be the click. I'm going to close my eyes and really listen to it and try and every time I hit my stick I'm going to make the click go. Right there. It's about four or five of them that were right on the button there. And you'll, you'll be able to hear this. You can record yourself and see how close you are. So see what you think about this video. I'm curious. Put it in the comments or email me. Find my website at hartmanmusic.com. Uh, and let me know what you're looking for. I can uh, do videos about drum and percussion equipment. Uh, I used to have a drum shop, the Drum Exchange, in Seattle for many years. I teach uh, percussion, and that could be marimba vibes, drums, uh, drum set, timpani, um, hand drums, things like that, but I also teach music business, like uh, music uh, licensing, getting your music in film and TV. So let me know what your interests are, uh, and, and try this out. I think if you're a musician of any kind, guitarist, piano player, it doesn't really matter, developing a sense of perfect time is, is a tremendous skill that everybody can use. So we'll see it soon, and uh, let me know what you're looking for. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.